Welcome back to TGTV, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back more specifically to my front room. I bring this video today to you with Harry's.com. Harry's razors, I'm sure many of you will have heard of. Harry's are a very cool razor brand, actually shaking things up. The story behind Harry's is actually quite cool. Two founders, Jeff and Andy, were sick of paying for overpriced razor blades. So they raised a load of money and they actually bought a razor factory in Germany. These days they help millions of men shave in a premium and hassle-free way. Now I don't know about you, but I find razor shopping and blade shopping a complete bore. I can't be bothered to go to stores and queue up, especially at the moment. Can't be bothered to go and queue up and pay over the odds for some over-designed razor and or blade. More often than not, I end up using an old blade and it ends up irritating my skin. The whole thing is a faff. So that's why Harry's razors are key goods. They get sent to your door and blades start at just one pound 75 each. The blades are sharp and durable. They guarantee a close and comfortable shave. And I just like their vibe, to be honest. They're simple, no nonsense, and premium. And if all that wasn't enough, they donate 1% of their global sales to support non-profit organizations that support things like men's mental health. So then, Harry's actually sent me their trial set. This is the trial set, it is in the box. This gets sent directly to your door. In here, we have their trial kit. And also, for a limited time only, you'll be getting a free shower gel. I'll get onto that at the end. It's a very exciting offer. We will get onto that. Inside here then, you get a weighted handle with textured rubber grip, a five blade razor cartridge, foaming shave gel, a travel cover to protect your blades when you're on the move as well. And for a limited time only, you receive a free shower gel. Start your subscription with just £3.95 when you go to harrys.com forward slash TGTV. You'll be supporting my channel and you'll get everything you need for a close, comfortable shave. So this is a limited deal, it's an amazing offer. Do get in the mix, save some money, save yourself some time, save yourself some hassle, and get a good shape. The links are below, sign up, support my channel, get in the mix, and let's get on with the video. TV and more specifically ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Southampton I'm here again today is actually a relatively sentimental and exciting day all rolled into one today I am back with my BMW M3 it's the BMW M3 and if you haven't seen the video of me uh, collecting it or taking delivery of it actually more accurately that video is now on my channel and I'll give you a full run through on exactly why this car is so special to me However, today the M3 is coming for a health check and a little bit of an OEM Plus enhancement here at DMS. DMS is a place I've been to many times over the past uh, couple of months, few months in fact, but I'm back here with the car. Anyway, I thought what better place to bring the car and have it checked over. So they're going to plug it in, see what's going on with it, whether or not there's any uh, faults, any, uh, you know, and just making sure that the car is tickety-boo and everything is great. Because it's a 2013 car, it's about seven years old now, and I haven't seen it for about five years. So I just want to have a little check up on it. And also we're going to do some tweaks to the software, the gearbox. We're going to update all that stuff and bring it up to, I think, GTS spec, BMW OEM GTS spec, which is quite cool, quite interesting. I should probably show you the car actually, shouldn't I? Oh, my face. You don't want to see this. So she's here, bonnet up to the V8. We're just getting the ECU out. I say we, I, I lack the abilities and the skills. So the gentleman here, uh, he, knows, he knows what he's doing. He's not an idiot like me. As you can see, relatively old car. It's not come out any time recently, so there are leaves and whatnot in there. The rest of the engine bay does look quite clean though. Does look quite clean. And obviously that is a four litre V8 in there being the E93 variant of the M3. The only M3 I believe that has a V8 in it. And also whilst it's been here at DMS, I failed to film this bit. There was actually a dent on this rear, actually no, it might be this side. There was a dent on this rear panel here. It was like a big karate chop in there. So a company called Dingo's Dents has come and done that already. It literally, I thought it was gonna take him like 45 minutes or something but it literally took him five minutes to sort it out so I didn't even film it in time and he took another dent out of somewhere else as well I think there's a dent on the roof line here this black bit here there was a dent in that somehow he's got rid of that so 
We've had a bit of work done to it already, freshen it. The only thing really that needs doing now is missing a tiny bit of paint on this corner. So I'm gonna get that done at some point, but that's a very simple blow in bit. There's no structural damage there as well. But by and large, for a seven year old car, it's in very good nick. It's very low miles still, and it's a car now that I'm gonna keep. It's got huge, huge sentimental value to me, this car. And it's not one that I ever envisage leaving the collection. And it's actually quite cool. It's a rare car. It's the limited edition 500 variant. And there are not many M3s in this color, let alone cab. So I'm very excited. I'm going to get my original plate back on it that I had many moons ago. So yeah, the point at which we're at. ECU's coming out. I mean, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I don't even know. That could be an ECU. It might not be. I know the ECU's in there, I think. Okay, that's just like Spaghetti Junction. It looks like my brother's head. And this is on the wrist today as well. We've got the Eventi Torbion on today. So I'll give this one a run out. There's a video on my channel of this already. So you want to check out the review on this and a couple of other models. Do check that out. So I'm just on my way up to kind of the, the brains of the operation. I don't know that's offensive, but the brains of the operation up here. Certainly far smarter than anything I do. We've got Rob up here, back on the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I'm actually excited to get back on. Very nice mask, you have on. Thank you very much, yeah, Ken95. Website's below. <laughs> I like what you did there, you're learning here. Put them all in, there he is. No, not swipe up, I told you. No, I don't know what that gesture was. So the other guys are out of the room whilst I film this, but this is actually the M3 E93. ECU, that's what an ECU looks like. So if you bugger one of them, that's that's what, a grand or two, God only knows. But that has been plugged into the computer at the moment, and then they're gonna go through all that. So we're gonna go into what's been learned and what can be done with that. And obviously the phone on there is absolutely nothing to do with me. Uh, it's not a Huawei, so I don't approve of it. But yeah, ECU is what we're looking at there. So after the ECU's gone back in, we're also just doing some fault code checking. So there's a separate process. That actually plugs into the OBD port, is that correct? Perfect, look at that. Again, you're gonna to have to send me an invoice for an appearance fee as well. So he's just checking what fault codes have been reported, clearing any faults that there may be, and basically just having a general nose around into what has been going on with the car. Will servicing and stuff come up on there or anything that needs doing? No, okay, good. Only on the dash, there we go. What kind of things can you learn from this, uh, from this contraption here? Anything wrong with the car, pretty much. Anything wrong, I like the sound of that. So perfect. Wonderful stuff. So there we go, we're just having a little fiddle and I'm gonna discover if anything's uh, catastrophically wrong with this car, hopefully not. We're all good, has it, it got the all clear? Yeah. We got the all clear, that's good. As I say, this car was one lady owner since me and it was kept completely standard and very low miles and it's got all the service stamps. So I wasn't expecting any gremlins or anything too serious, and it, but it's good to know. It's very good to know. So you have recently bought a performance car, it's very well worth getting yourself down to DMS, or alternatively, they can actually collect your car and drop it back off if we are in a lockdown at times. But it's very worth getting in touch with them anyway, because there's a lot of software updates for a lot of cars now, and you can literally just plug it in and sort it out. Look at it, we haven't seen it with the bonnet down yet. Lovely stuff. Now then, after the OBD port has been plugged into with the diagnostics machine, we are doing the gearbox software. The GTS gearbox software that I spoke about earlier in the video, we are doing that. So that actually goes through the diagnostics port as well. And that is actually a job you can come in and get done within the hour. That is a while you wait thing to do. So it just plugs in there and that is actually a job that can be done while you wait. In terms of tuning and going up on the dyno, I don't think we're actually going to do that today. I'm not sure we're gonna get onto that. But you can get these up to about 445, 450 brake, and they start life at about 425, maybe 430. This one's probably down to about 420 by now, possibly something like that. We've got Aaron's car on the dyno up there, so I'm not gonna have time probably to get mine up there. However, I'm quite confident with all the checks that are going on now, and also the GTS software going into the gearbox, this car is going to be much more drivable. But this software will mean that it's actually a little bit uh, more kind of sporty to drive, and also shifts are that little bit more crisp with the GTS software in it. So you've got an E92 or an E93 with the latter DCT gearbox in it, but it's definitely worth having a chat on any account with the guys at DMS here, and they will plug it in and they will do their bit and update it all for you. Don't know about you, but that's just cool. Having a V8 in an M3. Also, a nice little touch in here. I never knew this car had it. It's got the M3 in the bonnet there. It's sick. 
all in all a very clean engine bay. It's only done just over 20,000 miles, so it's not done a huge amount of miles in seven years. And they've mostly been motorway miles as well, up and down the A3 to London. One other thing I want to talk about in this car as well is the noise. Not only is this probably one of the last M3s that sounds good, because I don't really like the sound of the F80 or you know all the turbo stuff. I really, really don't like the sound of that. That's got a big old V8 in it. But on this particular car, with about 200 miles on the clock, I actually got the exhaust modded, which was very naughty of me because it was a lease car, but I did it anyway. I actually did the OEM exhaust mod on it. So what they do is they chop into the standard box and inside there, I believe there were perforated pipes or bendy pipes. I can't remember actually what they do. We cut it open and put basically straight pipes inside the original box and sealed it back up. It's called the OEM exhaust mod. You're welcome to give it a Google but it just gives the V8 a little bit more throat and it's a very, very cheap mod to do. Again, it's something I'm sure the guys here at DMS can do. It's a very quick, cost-effective way just to get a little bit more OEM plus noise out of the V8. And that has still got the mod done to it to this day and that's kind of how I know it's my car as well. Because I can hear it. It sounds a little bit nicer than a standard M3. The lady that bought it probably wouldn't have had a clue unless revving next to a normal one. Uh, but yeah, quite cool. And I'm not going to touch the exhaust just yet, but in time, I possibly will. Tailpipes can probably do with going a little bit bigger, because they are quite small. But for now, I'm very happy with the way it looks. I'm just happy to have it back, to be honest with you. Spacers, also another option, just to get it a little bit more wider track and improve the stance. Maybe springs, bits and bobs like that, but I don't know how much I want to mess around with this. Those that remember the original car will also remember that I had carbon fiber rear lip here and also the famous front splitter of which I went through three different variants. I might put those back on. I'm gonna source some carbon I think and put those back on for old time's sake. And also those who remember my original car and also those that remember me batting around this originally I had carbon fiber mirror caps from BMW as well. I love those things. I actually took them off before I got rid of this and I sold them on eBay. So it's got the standard caps back on it. But again, I might just for old time's sake, buy another set of them and add them on. Another thing that people change on the E92 and E93 is the headlights. They're actually yellow in these, not white, like they are even on some of the diesels. I think that was something to do with maybe being lightweight or maybe there being no space to have a big unit in there because there's a V8 in there. I don't know why that actually was and I'm sure some people will be telling me off. Just going for a little test drive. There it goes. then it's nearly time to go I don't know what on earth is happening with the weather it's blue skies up there it's basically like some sort of tropical storm over there so I don't know what that's going on anyway it's time to go and one final thing that actually was really cool the guys here did they looked into the service history on this car as well and it turns out it's had all its services it's all up to date and it's actually been serviced at main dealer as well the last oil change was late 2018 so it's due an oil change probably within the next few months. So I'm gonna take it to Vines BMW to get that done there, which is where the other services are done. Anyway, pointless, and I'm probably far too overexcited about this car, and you probably don't really understand why I'm that excited, but I've had a good time anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe, thumbs up, blah, 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 and I'll see you all very soon. Ciao for now, bye.